Welcome to today's episode of the Daily Coffee Pro by Mapper Forward Friends. Today on the podcast, we're answering a question that we received via email and I thought there must be many people out there that are thinking the same thing. So I thought it'd make a really great topic of conversation on the podcast. And the question we received is, how do you talk to investors about coffee? And this is a subject that comes up quite a bit in consulting. So let's look at this in a two-pronged approach because the answer to the question is two-pronged. Before you decide to enter into an investment relationship with someone, you need to understand why it is they want to get into business for with you. Now, the way the reason that they want to get into business is going to inform how you speak to them about coffee. So an example of that would be if you say to someone, why do you want to invest in a coffee business? And they say, well, it's cool to own a coffee business right now. The way you'll talk to them about coffee is very different than the way you'd talk to somebody who answered that question with, well, it's all about profitability for me. I think that it would be a great profitability, a great investment from a profitability perspective to get into business with you. I hope it's it's uh, really obvious immediately how those two conversations would end up resulting in a different way that you would talk to people about coffee in those two different scenarios. The person who's telling you that it's cool to get into coffee is going to be more open to hearing about the nuances of the coffee industry and the coffee value chain and the different elements of what the value chain represents or the different stakeholders in the value chain represent. Now, someone who tells you that they're getting into the coffee industry because of profitability, now that may be a more difficult conversation based on what you know about profitability and the coffee value chain. Somebody who's telling you that they see that the coffee industry is a very profitable and lucrative investment perhaps doesn't have all the information and sends them my way. I'll, if, you, if you don't feel confident in explaining why the coffee value chain or the coffee business isn't the best place to put money if profitability is your only goal and you're going to support a responsible value chain, send them my way if they need some education on that because if you're unaware, the coffee value chain at the consumer end means that cafes are operating at between 1% and 3% net profit pre-COVID. Roasters are doing better than that. But if they're paying a responsible price for coffee, they're not doing better than that. So while roasters are profiting more than anybody else in the value chain, cafes are not. And roasters who are doing the right thing and purchasing coffee at a fair price are not doing as well as most investors would like to think. So it is a very important thing to understand why your investor wants to get into coffee. The next thing to understand is make sure that your values and their values are aligned. And the reason this is important before you get into business is because if they don't understand how the value chain works and they don't understand the very slim margins that you operate on, they may start telling you things like, I just want you to buy cheaper coffee. That will make our profitability better. Now, if they're unaware of what your values are and your values are all about buying or being responsible in the way that you operate in the value chain and they're going to continually tell you to just 
buy cheaper coffee, buy cheaper coffee. If you're not paying a responsible price for that coffee, then you're going against your own values. And so you're probably not well aligned. And that's why it's important to know these things before you go into business. And be clear on where the divide is before you enter into a business decision. So what I mean by that is if you are on the same value structure and you understand why they're getting into this, make sure that there's a clear divide or an understood boundary of what they will have say on and what you will have say on when it comes to everything, but in particular coffee. Because if they are going to be focused purely on profitability and you're focused on profitability as well, but they are going to influence what coffees you choose and what coffees you don't when you didn't, you didn't quite count on that. As the coffee person, you were counting on having the say on what coffees get sold and what products you get to offer in your venue, what brew methods you get to offer, what your packaging looks like, how much say does your financial business investor have on that side of things and how much say do they not have? How much say do you have on how the money gets spent And where's the wiggle room for you to be able to deviate from that? So having a clear divide is important. So that's um, that's the things to consider before you go into business. And they're important foundational questions to ask a potential business investor to inform you about how you will talk to them about coffee once you do enter into the business relationship. So once you've established all of that stuff, how do you talk about coffee in all the different iterations of coffee? Green coffee, brewed coffee, roasted coffee, uh, branding, everything to do with coffee once you've decided to go into that business relationship. Have a clear understanding. And here's the first thing I want to tell you. Have a clear understanding about how much They want to be educated on all the different elements of coffee. So if somebody's only interested in giving you the money and not having any interest after that, don't force them to learn about coffee. Just like you wouldn't force a customer that just wants to come in, get their cappuccino with two sugars and go about their day. Forcing them to learn about natural processed coffees and carbonic maceration and what it means to have, you know, a different TDS and all the technical stuff that we all know about. Forcing a customer that doesn't want to know about that is equally as annoying as a business owner that doesn't want to know about that stuff. So being informed about how involved they want to be from an education perspective is super important. You don't want to be that annoying person that keeps trying to teach people about stuff that they don't have any interest in learning about. But upfront, helping somebody understand that the coffee value chain is far more complex than most people think it is and making that education process interesting and enticing is going to do exactly what it does with a customer when you get them on that journey. It's going to impassion them and invigorate them to want to learn more. And so being very considered in your approach in talking to business investors in a way that meets them at the level that they're at and the interest that they're bringing to this perspective is really important. Now, the final thing that I want to talk about when it comes to this is how do you impart necessary knowledge? So, for example, decisions about coffee that are tied to financial, that have financial implications are are important. So what products that you want to add to the menu 
what kinds of coffees you want to buy that may be a little more expensive and require uh, you to float some financial risk, Uh, buying new equipment, going into different branding and innovation directions that all have a financial implication. Understanding how to approach an investor when it comes to these coffee decisions is really important. And so take a step. This, this is where business coaching the, and particularly like the group business coaching that we do with Map It Forward is fantastic and has seen so many rewards for the people that are doing it because you get to present these kinds of situations and say, hey, so I want to talk to the person who's funding our business. I want to talk to them about changing from the current equipment that we've got through to automation and it's going to cost about throughout our stores it's going to cost about fifty thousand dollars how do I approach that subject well the business coaching is a fantastic place to propose something like that because we break it down and we talk about things in depth and it's affordable so if it's something that you have been thinking about Um, and you need to hash out these ideas and get some solutions for it, the mastermind business coaching that we have at Mapper Forward is fantastic for this. And you can go to mapperforward.org forward slash group coaching and forward slash Lee Safar and you'll find out details there. We also have the equivalent for roasting as well. And we just coincidentally, we're just starting a second group for the business coaching Um now we're starting a new group so there is three spots left in that there's um it's fantastic I can't speak highly enough about it because I get to bear witness to the incredible growth that I see in these business owners and if you want to check out a fantastic example uh two fantastic examples of businesses that are just taking what we've done in these groups and thriving like crazy with them check out Pane Latte, uh, based in Adelaide in Australia, and check out a very new, uh, soon to be launched brand called Perspective Roses. I'm incredibly proud of both of them. Anyway, I'll include links in the show notes so that you can check that out. But the last thing that I want to, I, how I want to delve into how you'd answer a, or approach that kind of thing. Very briefly, figure out what you want to get out of the conversation with the business investor. Figure out what it is that you want to approach them with. Understand very clearly what the how much time do you have to pitch to them? What do you want to get out of it? And be very clear on what the return on investment for them is based on what we spoke about earlier in this episode. What is it they are looking to get out of the investment with you? So if they are investing in you because they want profitability, when you pitch somebody about coffee and you're already in a business relationship with them, make sure that the pitch is geared towards profitability. If the reason they want to be in business with you is because they like the idea of being coffee because it makes them look cool around their friends, and that happens far more than you think it would, uh, then make sure your pitch includes how this will feed their ego. You have to meet people where they're at when it comes to this stuff. But don't compromise your values which is why it's important to make sure they're on the same value frequency as you before you get into business together. I hope that's been really helpful. This is one of the things that I love talking about when we do the coaching. So I'm glad we got the opportunity to have this episode, uh, talk about it in this episode of the podcast. Peace, love and peanut butter friends. Have an amazing rest of your day.